don't chop them all out. Oh, I like it. What's enough? We are going to a party and. most important man. Uh, that would be you, really. Yes, uh, two pieces of controfiletto <laughs> and a beautiful piece of filetto. Uh, uh, there you go. Uh, and then... What a beautiful day. And I'm just out walking Gianfranco. Can you bring it? Yes, bravo! Bravissimo! Here they come! This week an excavator came all the way from Florence to work on the chicken coop. Yes, we are still uh, planning to go ahead with this. There was just a big delay. As I've said before, we live in a part of Tuscany that has very few tradesmen. So we've had to wait for months for this excavator to be available to drive three hours from Florence and sleep the week on our property. He is someone Guido's family have used for other works in Florence and it's amazing how easy and efficient everything was working with him. It was such a novelty for us, as you know, if you've watched some of our past challenges. Some of you uh, who are considering renovating or building a home in Italy, please don't be deterred by how long it's taken us for these various projects. So much depends on where you are located and whether there are good, reliable builders and plumbers and excavators in the area. In fact, Guido has been working on some renovations of, a, of another property of his family and they have been completely stress-free. Gianfranco, of course, was very excited to see the excavator at work. You may recall that there was a big gap between the house and the hill, so his job over this week was to fill that in and create a wall with boulders. Then also carve out a road so that whoever stays here can park directly by the house and we don't have too many cars uh, by the church. Just in case some of you have forgotten, because it's been a while, we're not going to rent this out to holiday makers on Airbnb or anything uh, because we want to protect our privacy a little and just make less money but have less stress by letting it out long term to Italians. The fields are full of these wild yellow flowers, which are basically weeds. On my daily walks, the first poppies have started appearing and I can't wait to see the vast fields of vivid red. It has been unusually hot, up to 32 degrees Celsius, which is 89.6 Fahrenheit, which is very strange for April. I've been swimming in the pool with Gianfranco, barbecue lunches and we eat dinner on balmy evenings out under the jasmine by candlelight and it feels so magical to return to these rituals of spring and summer. Brian is coming to visit soon and I'm hoping the weather remains this dreamy for his stay. We picked our first crop of artichokes. Oh, I would chop them all, I would. And also our lettuces in the new vegetable garden have flourished. I just had a cold shower. Did you have a swim? Sort of, but when you are super hot, it's really cold. Yeah, Guido's just been streaming. Yeah, but it's like 28 degrees. It's um... Now, these have done a very great, they've done a great job, no? He's doing that, he could go. See? it? Mm. Yay! But they, they, obviously now they're per this is perfect. Yeah. You know, they, probably if we were well wanting to sell them, 
we would make them grow more. Yeah. Because, but this obviously is... Oh, it's I'll beautiful. Take, Look at it. I'll dig out the root. They're perfect. My mother has, has put all the little bamboo and tied them up with Gianfranco, all the, all the tomato plants. Can I pick another one? Yes. Meanwhile, on the top floor in our guest room, we discovered a little nest with some eggs. I just stood there admiring the gentle curve of this makeshift bed and imagined the bird finding each piece and flying up here, patiently, diligently constructing her baby's nest. Guido says that if the baby birds die, we could have an infestation of lice that managed to come through the window. But how can we take away this nest? And if we move it to another tree, surely the mother bird won't find it again. If you have any advice on... Uh, transplanting nests then do let me know in the comments. Buongiorno, good morning. Well, do you even remember the chicken coop, il polaio? The reason that I even called this series Renovating a Ruin because it was such a ruin and this is just, oh, there have been so many delays for different reasons. Uh, for one, the construction company was just never available and then when they finally were available, they're the same people that we used to do the pool. So we ended up um, progressing with the pool and uh, and using them for that and and uh, and then using them for the bathroom so this is the problem where we live there's just not there aren't a lot of construction companies that are available or reliable so This is Guido working with the excavator today. Yeah, it wasn't any help, so and we are the, the wall is finished the one of the walls is, is nearly finished and we need the last rock to, to block it. But how do you, you place it just based on what shape they are to yeah, yeah, make it work very like clever, he's been doing like Tetris. Wow. And, and obviously they weigh between seven and 12 tons. So if he does a mistake, everything will fall down or kill someone. <laughs> wow. So no, it's been very clever. Amazing. This wall will, I suppose, be visible from the kitchen, which will be here. Uh, do you guys remember all the debate about where to put the kitchen? And, and this will be the view from the kitchen. And what a view. How lovely. Oh my goodness. And this will be the living area. Uh, it's not very clear today, unfortunately, but it's certainly still lovely and warm and it's just a bit of a haze. Tamwade! Hello! Fine, Final block. Oh, really?
so we are traveling to Florence and it is the first time that we are leaving Gianfranco which is quite uh, difficult for me it's the first time I've, I've left him for a night and he's uh, with my parents which is great because he's super comfortable with them but uh, if you if you're a, a, a mother or a parent who's got a small child and you, you know that first that first time that you're separated from them is, is, is difficult and I hope everything goes okay but I'm sure it will. We are going to a party and uh, hopefully it should be fun. They'll be dancing, we'd all be looking handsome in a suit and uh, we'll see some, some lots of friends uh, in Florence and um, it should be fun. No? Hopefully yes, yes. Uh, it's funny because it's actually <laughs> the it's actually a party thrown by a person who I uh, years and years and years ago, if some of you remember my TV show when Patrick met Kylie and I filmed for the Florence episode, I filmed the end of the episode, I filmed a party and it was with this same person and you were probably at that party, no? No, I don't think so. But you don't think so? Maybe. Well, anyway, it's just interesting because I was at that party dancing when I was I mean, so many years ago and little did I know that one day I would be going to another party thrown by the same person uh, with my with my husband. Funny. Uh, anyway, we I think we've 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 definitely entered a, a new phase with Gianfranco, which is exciting because he's been sleeping. Except last night. Except last night. <laughs> he didn't sleep last night. Uh, but he has been sleeping a lot. I mean, he sleeps until sort of seven or something in the morning. No. Seven, eight. And sometimes eight. So that's a huge thing. And because we didn't do sleep training, you know, you start to wonder, oh, is this ever going to resolve itself, or is it? Is he ever going to, to, to find uh, a way to, to, I don't know, feel comfortable with with going to sleep in his little bed and and waking up and 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 being able to get back to sleep. And and now he is, and that's oh, it's, it's such a relief. And we've. Uh, it's been such a an arduous journey, <laughs> but I'm glad we did it together and we uh, survived. We survived, yes, and and we're in a new. Feel like we're in a new chapter now, don't you? Yeah, l life is much easier. <laughs> and it's it's great to think that. I mean, it's been long because he's 18. He'll be 18 months uh, well, next, next next week. Yeah. And uh, but so it's I guess when you when you've just got a newborn, if someone tells you, oh no, don't worry, you've just got to survive this for eighteen months, um, you think, oh my goodness, no. But but in the whole scheme of things, in the whole scheme of his life, eighteen months is not that long. So I was sort of prepared to to do whatever it took to to uh, to comfort him and everything during these this long first period. Um, so. I was wondering this morning, like, will you remember what's happening now? Because they don't have that memory about beyond the childhood. But we will remember everything. So exactly, it's it's strange. It's like he will remember what's doing now. And, and that, oh, 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 big glory. Driving in Italy is. Era colpa tua? No, ha stretto la strada, idiota. Cazzo Sony, ha stretto la curva, hai visto anche te? Let's not have an accident while we're away from Hassan. Um, anyway, Vito's an excellent driver, fortunately. Um, but yeah, going back to what you're saying, I, I think he'll, he'll probably from a psychological perspective, remember it in his, in his subconscious, like he'll remember feeling loved, but he won't remember obviously any of these moments that we're sharing. Um, but he'll, he'll, he'll feel hopefully uh, uh, a sense of stability and, and love that, uh, that, that new form in these, in these first few years, no? Yeah, hopefully, yes. Hopefully. Uh, that's, that's the aim. Um, we had uh, a therapy session uh, just a couple of days ago, and uh, we do. As I've said before, we do it at night time, and 
and it was great because we were going through and reflecting and she was it was almost like our psychologist, our, our therapist wanted to break up with us. She was like, do you, do you think you, you need this? Because you seem in a really good place. Uh, but it, it makes, it, it's, it's, it's so nice to reflect and, and say, okay, wow, we've overcome a lot of things and we've sorted through a lot of uh, issues. And, and uh, it's nice to even talk about the good things and say, oh, look how, we're, how well we're dealing with this and with that. And, um, so we decided to, to go on, and I suppose it's like car maintenance. You don't go to the mechanic only when the car breaks down, but yeah. you have to do regular uh, maintenance. So let's let's see how it goes. Yeah, but yeah. Definitely, it helped to uh, overcome. Especially autumn was really hard. Yeah. <laughs> also, if your parents were here, but probably. We were suffering from the lack of sleep of the months before. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I've, it's been very hard. Yeah. And now it's spring and everything works. So uh, it's it's very good to know that you can go through a storm and then everything is okay after that. But yeah, yeah. We, we had, or not? We had, obviously had, not perfect. But but that you feel equipped to deal with whatever comes your way, and you've worked out between you. You've you've uh, what, what, how, what, what approach is, is, is works for everyone and for the family and um, this uh, this part of the the video is kindly sponsored by BetterHelp and you guys have heard me speak about them before so you're probably familiar with what they do they uh, are an online therapy platform they have over thirty thousand licensed therapists super easy one of the, the the main advantages is that you can get onto them very quickly and I find that when you're having you're having a meltdown or you're having a moment of, of, of weakness or you're just having a moment of feeling lost uh, you kind of want to be proactive and find and, and make a step towards getting better feel like getting a solution getting um, on a better path and they make that very simple uh, you fill out a questionnaire usually within 48 hours they can match you with a therapist uh, which you can change if you don't click with that person you just uh, you just select that you'd like to try someone new and they, that's at no extra cost. And, uh, and then you have uh, video calls or phone calls and you can message in between sessions. And it's all uh, very, very convenient to do online in your own home, which is, whoa, which, is <laughs> which is what we do. And it certainly works for us. I mean, the other night Guido just came back from Florence, which is a long drive, um, and he just walked through the door. I had dinner just ready for him, and then we just popped straight onto the call, even while he was half still eating dinner, and it was it was great. And then I'd only just got Gianfranco to bed uh, five minutes before our call. Now, it, it, we could never have organized that work, yeah, if, it if, we, if we had to get into a, a clinic and do it in normal hours and everything so for us certainly online therapy is a, is a huge advantage yeah. uh, it makes it possible otherwise yeah. it probably well it's so complicated to just go to the appointment that in the end you won't do it uh, like this there's no excuses they are easier than that yeah it's impossible so uh, if you'd like to try it out, uh, they are offering uh, my viewers 10% off the first month. Uh, click the link that is betterhelp.com forward slash Kylie. And, uh, it, or even just go and check it out and, and see if it uh, is something that interests you. So thank you very much BetterHelp for sponsoring this part of the video. Now we are racing to uh, get to, to Florence. Actually, we're going to have lunch with Guido's parents live in Florence and that's always great as well we're, we're super lucky to have both of our parents be able to, to, to be around both of our parents and preparing lunch on sorry preparing lunch preparing lunch yeah but also because it's uh family's so important to both of us and I think that's a it's a nice thing when you have that in common because we never fight about anything like that it was just uh, family is is always a a shared priority. It's a very important thing. Yeah. So uh, we shall uh, see you when tonight, when we're getting ready. I'll try and maybe film a little bit when we before we leave for the party, and maybe a little sneaky shot at the party uh, just to give you a 
uh, a view of uh, what it's like. It, it should be it should be a nice a nice location, I think. No. Yeah, yeah, it's a very nice place. I, d I generally don't film at the, these things though because I don't want to for people's privacy and everything. I don't want to, and our friends as well. I don't want to film them, but I can maybe get a few sneaky shots of us. So we'll see you soon. <laughs> This is a dress I bought, uh, it's a vintage dress I bought in a vintage store in, in Rome and then I, uh, I think I, I had this great seamstress, this great uh, woman in, in, in Rome who would just take in different dresses for me to sort of help them to fit and uh, I really like about this one is the sort of all this gathering here. Whoops, have I did it up properly? Yes, <laughs> on the side. And uh, it just sort of comes in and it doesn't does it cling to you, but it, it, it kind of uh, has these little details which uh, just make you feel very, uh, very feminine. <laughs> and uh, of course, I love the length and with these shoes. Perhaps, maybe. This one is my favorite color. Uh, I don't know if you can see it properly on film and on this dark, cloudy day, but the, uh, the color is just a really beautiful, kind of very warm terracotta, uh, but it's in this silk that uh, just makes it feel so luxurious and, uh, and feminine. So the only problem is uh, there was a clap of thunder before. So if it's raining, I may want to uh, have something with sleeves. This one is uh, sort of good for a date, but I don't know if it's, I don't know if I really feel it's like <laughs> kind of popping out here. I could wear it with this on top, which is nice, but I just think I would prefer to have something a little longer. I just got it this. <laughs> I can't breathe. Yes, after the pregnancy things were rough. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Beautiful. So I went with this dress in the end because it might rain. No? Yeah. So this is Beautiful. easy and Perfect. I can still dance in it. Yes, and you look so handsome. Yay! Yeah, I can't breathe, but it's fine. <laughs>
Smell, smell, Gianfranco. We've just come back from Florence and we're coming down to look at what the excavator has done. And look, he's created a, a wall here. Amazing. Oh, he's created a wall on this side. This is the side closest to the, to the church. Oh, wow. And he's smoothed out all of this. Look at it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. And he created a road, a gravel road. Amazing. Oh, and this wall's all done. Beautiful. Mm. So here there will be six meters of, with a with a, a pergola with a of pavement. La of pavement. Può essere, mi sembra massimo tre metri. Okay. Ah, oh, but can you imagine how beautiful? So all of this will be an outdoor area to to eat yeah. and more grass to look after. But yeah. <laughs> well, we can plant rosemary that will be survive this heat. I mean, it's April and it's going to be twenty. Eight degrees today, mm, I think. Yeah, yeah, amazing. One Gosh. doesn't think about climate change, but it's. He has fatto un buon lavoro, bravissimo. Ha fatto esattamente quello che ha fatto. Wow. Sembra sia sempre stato così, invece era un porcaio prima. Sì. Qui ci si mette un muretto intorno. Questo lì non si sapeva se spostarlo o no, uh, secondo me è bello. Sì. Si fa tipo la iola e ne stai here. Sì. Bene, bene, bene. Lì sarà un po' un casino perché doveva trovare il posto per mettere i motori dei condizionatori, ma insomma. Perché questo olivo c'era sempre, non è stato spostato. No, no, questo è stato. Questo anzi da potare. Yay! E ora c'è da aspettare almeno quattro mesi che uh, venga la ditta di muratori perché hanno detto sono incasinati. No. Beh, sì, va bene no, se sono tre o quattro mesi. Ma... Fatto tre o quattro mesi, secondo me poi c'è da mettere, da decidere le finiture. Devono fare tutti i muri, i pavimenti, dobbiamo fare il bagno. Sì. So, these, these are blocks of stone sì. that come from a mine come si dice una cava una cava di sasso e questi sono massi che vanno dai, dai 8 alle 10 tonnellate so between 8 and 12 tons and he's done an amazing job in just piling them up in, like tetris getting them locked together and creating the the slope in, in a way that it doesn't everything doesn't fall down so now it's it's safe it's also beautiful no see actually it's it, it's if you look at from here it's symmetrical and it's actually a plus to the and it wasn't wasn't ever si ma anche il il colore Del, della, della roccia, del, del, della pietra, è, è quasi uguale alla, alla, al, al travertino della chiesa, no? Sì, sì, è un po' più rosa, ma insomma è, è un bel colore. It's not a, 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 a dead stone, it's a... So it's good, good, good. Very good. So here the, the next step will be the lay pavement here. They will come with the with now that they can reach with all the machineries and and, and materials they will I think they will do the walls. 
Really? Yeah, yeah. Then you, they need to do the ceiling, the floor. So I'll, I'll have to ask them, and and probably we have to review with the plumber and the electrician how things are laid out, so yeah. that when they come, they are sort of ready. Yeah. This is the the bedroom, and you can see the church bells and the olive tree. Beautiful. Thank you so much for clicking the subscribe button. You have made this community grow to 285,000 people. And as always, my deep appreciation to the viewers who are also patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this little vignette of our week. A la prossima.